In this video, let's take a look at some of the key functions and features included in the Vessel Leak model in Fast Online. You'll notice we start by defining a leak location on a map. Simply zoom in or zoom out to your location and drop the pin. On the left side of the screen, we have the most commonly used input data for performing a consequence analysis, including the material, inventory, pressure, temperature, and hole size. Once these are input, the fluid state and phase to be released are calculated. Finally, you can include the release elevation and angle from horizontal, as well as the weather category, which can be defined on the weather tab. Here you're able to specify the stability class, wind speed, temperature, and relative humidity. And finally, on the parameter tab, Let's start with defining the toxic parameters, including up to four different concentrations of interest. On the flammable tab, you can select two different levels for LFL fraction, as well as four different radiation levels. And on the explosion parameter tab, first you're able to select the multi-energy explosion strength and four different overpressure levels. These different results can be viewed on a map, in graphs, or in tables. Once you have calculated results for FAST Online Vessel Leak Model, on the right side you will see the map legend, where we can toggle on the toxic dispersion case. In this case, we have concentration levels that we have included, 5,000, 2,000, 1,000, and 500 ppm, and we're able to zoom in or out on the map with automatic scaling. You can do the same for flammable dispersion, which includes the upper, lower, and half lower, and 20% of the lower flammable limit. In order to do this, we'll toggle the toxic dispersion off and zoom in and look at the different cloud profiles for the flammable dispersion. Now let's take a look at a radiation case. When looking at radiation, you have the ability to see the flame shape as well as four different radiation levels for the jet fire. For the pool fire, we can see the same, the flame shape and the four different radiation levels that we've input. And finally, if your case includes results for vapor cloud explosion overpressure, you can see the four different overpressure levels on the map. In all of these map cases, you're able to toggle the wind direction back and forth to show different possibilities of different wind directions. Down below, we can take a look at graphs, which include toxic dispersion footprints, as well as side view. You can look at flammable dispersion footprints, jet fire radiation profiles, pool fire radiation profiles, and overpressure profile. Below, we can look at results in different tabular forms, including the discharge, toxic dispersion, flammable, radiation, and overpressure results. These results can be exported to Excel via the Export to Excel button. As you will see, the input and outputs are commonly used in performing a basic consequence analysis. The design is intuitive and it's easy for somebody to jump on, make a quick calculation, and get back to their work. Mm -hmm.